the man on pole gets the uh, the best seat in the house there, right uh, in the middle. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the press conference for round three of the 2008 Super League Formula Championship. And put your hands together for an amazing performance for a guy that uh, a little over a week ago probably had no idea he was going to be in a Super League Formula car this weekend. And now he's starting from pole position. Put your hands together for Paul Meyer. Paul, firstly, congratulations, and would you like uh, Craig or Borha to maybe kind of pinch you on the arm to actually uh, make sure you're not dreaming? You must be, uh, you must be absolutely delighted. Yeah, it was an exciting race, and mostly, I think, or a race, <laughs> qualifying, and mostly in the beginning, um, because I didn't know what to expect this morning. I came here um, yesterday afternoon, I think, around 1, and then I was called Thursday night around 8, if I wanted to drive, because uh, Tom Coronel knew the team, and he asked the team, uh, the team asked him, is he a good driver, and uh, who should we put in the car? And that's how it all came to this. And yesterday the seat, this morning, the first practice, and yeah, it was incredible, because the horsepower, 750 horsepower, I never drove a car like that. And it was just yeah, a great feeling, amazing car, and I struggled a little bit in the rain, but um, in the afternoon, the second practice was quite good for me, I think. Third place, and now I'm gaining time every time I drive the car, so quite good, yeah. Obviously, nobody told you before, uh, before you got in the car today actually how difficult these things are to drive, because you seem to have uh, taken it very much in your stride. Yeah, it was very difficult, and the team told me, and the other drivers, I spoke with Yelmer, of course, he also is a Dutchman and a friend of mine, and I spoke with him about the car, and he told me everything about the car and how it would be like, but if you stepped into the car, and I normally drew, uh, drive Formula Renault or Formula 3, and now I drive this car, it's insane, it's sick, and yeah, the team set up a really good car, and I think that made it possible to me for me to do a good job. What did you think when you came uh, came out of turn two and found uh, Craig sitting, uh, uh, unfortunately, facing the wrong way? Did you have a, all yeah. of a sudden have a little cheer to yourself or think, hang on, I've got to make sure I finish this lap as yeah. well and don't do the same thing? Yeah, I was lying if I would say, oh, it's a shame and blah, 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 because it's it's good for me, you know, I get the pole, but it's not nice to win the pole on this way but yeah it's the pole position and I really thought I needed to drive another time because I thought it was uh, the last four and I had to do another run but that was it so congratulations thank you well Craig Dolby in your uh, at the end of end of qualifying in fact with uh, pretty much minutes to go it looked like you may not have even got a lap in qualifying let alone get the opportunity to start from the front row of the grid Tell us what happened. There must have been an amazing effort from your guys to actually firstly get you on track and then uh, work your way through qualifying, through the quarterfinals, semifinals, and actually get the chance to uh, run off for pole position. Yeah, I mean, Team Astromega um, got the RSC Andalette car back going again, uh, what, two minutes before the end of uh, the group qualifying. Do you know, we, we didn't run in, well, it broke in the, uh, the second practice before the track was dry. So, to be honest, it was... Uh, to go out there with two minutes to go, I knew I had one lap to uh, to go and put a time in, and I didn't know where any of the braking points or anything were in the in the dry, so I, I kind of I pushed probably beyond the limit, uh, made a few mistakes on that lap, but it came out to be just enough in, in fourth position to go through into the next group, and uh, from that from that point on, I knew every time going out in the car, I'd be learning, and uh, I shot myself when I kept going through and. To get through to the final was good at our home race. It's, it is very nice to be uh, through to the final, but I just pushed a little bit too hard, to be honest. Um, but it was the third lap, third flying lap on, on tyres, and uh, yeah, it, it happens. It's motorsport, and tomorrow's another day, and uh, it's, it's great for the, uh, the Andalek fans. And uh, I saw them all cheering, even though, uh, even though we spun off, especially over the, the second chicane, they're all there cheering. So uh, thank you to them, and thank you to Aston Riga for getting the car back out. Craig, of course, uh, you, got, you get to see uh, some of your teammates, so to speak, last night at uh, the, Anderlecht, uh, the Anderlecht game in Brussels, and, and those guys had a win. And you, you're going to have some extra support here uh, on track tomorrow. So uh, to start, still start on the front row of the grid um, is, uh, is great for you. Yeah, I'm looking forward to tomorrow. Um, 
the team. Obviously, I went to see the team last night, and they performed very well. And I hope I can uh, join them tomorrow. And uh, and I'd like to win. We know we're strong in the races. We proved that at Nurburgring. And uh, it's a long race, and let's go and try and win for them. Craig Dobby will start from the uh, from the front row of the grid, the Brussels Club, Belgian Club, uh, here in Zolder. Well, Borja Garcia, uh, a second row start. There'll be yourself and Adrian, a pair of Spaniards on the second row, but still a very good performance. And uh, you've been very strong in the points, very consistent throughout the championship. Uh, what are your thoughts looking forward to uh, tomorrow's two races? Yeah, for the first thing for tomorrow is, is the weather. I think tomorrow is rain. We'll see what happens. Everything is possible with the rain. But I think... My car and also my team works really good. This morning in the, in the wet track, the car is fast. Also in the, in the qualifying. We'll see, for me, it's okay, especially for the, for the championship. Now I'm third. I'm from the Beijing and also PSV. I think I continue to push in really hard, especially for, for the championship. And we'll see tomorrow if it's possible to, to win or continue in the podium. It's okay for me. And of course, at our opening race at Donington, you proved yourself to be uh, a, a bit of a master in the rain. Are you actually kind of hoping that uh, that the skies are uh, a bit grey and cloudy and that the track wet tomorrow? <laughs> we'll see what happens. <laughs> I think for me, yes, of course. But tomorrow, I don't know. This is another track, it's another setup, another tarmac. We'll see what happens. But when I tell you this morning with the wet track, the car is really fast and comfortable to drive. We'll see. For me, for tomorrow, dry or wet. No, I don't care so much. Adrian, of course, uh, you had a great opening round at, at Donington. The, our last race at the Nürburgring didn't go so well. You must be pretty pleased, though, for a, a second row start here. This would be your best qualifying position so far in the championship and, and looking good for, for getting back on track. Well, I'm a bit disappointed because I think we could be much, much stronger. And uh, at the end, when I finish... Uh, the quarterfinals, uh, the team just told me that we couldn't go on new tyres because uh, the guys from Michelin didn't finish them on time. So then uh, I noticed I had to push really hard on that lap because uh, they told me the underleg car went with new tyres. So that's almost, you can't do anything because it's about one second faster, easier. So I pushed a lot, I pushed really hard and I did a mistake and I just went a little bit uh, far and then that's why I was also really slow on that lap but but I had to do that I couldn't do another thing just to try and push but you know with all tires it's really difficult of course you've got uh, past experience here you, you've raced at Zolder in uh, in World Series by Renault before uh, what are your thoughts on the track and uh, what do you think it's going to be like for the, uh, for the the Super League Formula races here tomorrow well it's quite a narrow track and it's really difficult to overtake and uh, if it's raining, it's going to be tricky because here you can't see anything when you are behind someone because uh, the tarmac, it, it takes a lot to dry out and, uh, and it's going to be tough. But anyway, uh, this morning we were really, really strong. I'm really pleased with the car. Uh, uh, I'm really pleased with the team. They did a good job and uh, the car was good in the wet and in the dry. And I think we can fight tomorrow for, for the podium or for the win. I think the car is working well.